Greetings, Earthlings! My name is Capacity Moon 90 and welcome back to Alien Fire Team Elite. Now, let's see. I've already maxed out my demolisher. What? Is it demolisher or is it demolitioner? I think it's demolisher. Anyways, um, I feel like it should go over here. Sometimes it's hard to see if I can pick one or the other. Oh, wait, that one's new. Uh... Yeah, I'll pick it for the missiles. You know, that's actually a first. Never thought I'd come across one of those things that need to... Never mind. Let's see. I'm gonna go with the uh, flamethrower, just in case. But, I'm also gonna give it a boost. Because, all it knows that I'm gonna need it. I mean, come on. You wouldn't want to fight against an army of Xenos, would you? If you are unprepared. Okay, we are good to go for our next mission. Okay. Now what the challenge card? Uh, I forget what most of these things do anyway. Uh, and it's hard to pick, especially when you got limited time. Oh, that's for... Oh, yeah, it's for a different map. Um, no, I don't want to lose my abilities. Uh, this one? Oh, too late. Dang it. Oh, I'm not going to let that bother me at the moment. At least not the moment. Okay, so now we're, just to recap, we saved Dr. Honecker, killed Monica, and now we're trying to figure out a way to, let's just say we're trying to evacuate Honecker in the safest way possible, if whatever you call safe on this xenomorph-infested plateau or space station is. Doc, take a sidearm. Fire team, Honecker don't have any VA suit. Yep. Get him to our dropship in one piece. Okay. Um, may I ask, where is the dropship? Oh, yeah, I'm... Steam doesn't hurt me. Oh. It wasn't like The bottom this. is filled with water. Not a good sign. This is so metal. What? Oh, they're coming? Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, there they are! Best to do a chase job first before they decide to rush you. If that makes any sense. I believe they call it, um... Um... I can't aim for shit, but... I could shoot! Uh, yeah... Damn... Um, I guess that counts? Uh, don't worry, they'll be in close proximity for you to actually get a clean shot. Assuming you don't get acid burns. Which way? Yeah, what the heck? Sentry deployed. Triple help? Probably. Ooh. Eee, that's a lot. I stand by my flamethrower turret. Considering it helps a lot more than you think. Corbin, <coughs> from the sides. Which side? You have to be more specific. Oh, that's right. Targets identified. Runner Xenomorphs closing in. Junction's clear. 
Gotta make sure. Direct route's blocked. I got no connection to those compartments. We'll bypass below decks. I just want to see if I can find some gear, okay? There's gotta be something around here. Usually they're all randomized locations, different spawning points. And usually they contain some very good gear that allow us to, uh, let's say, push forward. And we can save some of the rest of the ordnance for later, in case of a rainy day, if you will. Nothing here. Let's move out! Down eight flights. Subject 3A. 3A. Down eight flights. One. Two. Three. The core lakes flooded the whole bottom of the station. Oh boy. Wait! Of right. course! Bypass Mark 1, Mod 1, head through waste processing. Sewage processing? Eh, fine. Not like this is a clean job anyway. Anyways, this would make perfect sense. Xenomorphs, well, technically all insects. We're in a dark, damp tunnel, either way. It's a breeding ground for insects! And that's technically what Xenomorphs are! Nah, water shouldn't be toxic, but I wouldn't soak in it. Nah. Well, I mean, technically, I wouldn't drink it either. No, nothing here. What vents? I don't see any vents down here. Oh boy. Good thing about runner xenomorphs, they're easy to kill. But what would you call these in ant colony? Would you call the runner xenomorphs workers? And the warriors... Well, warriors? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell what the whole colony system is when the whole hive is a bunch of predators. I mean, hell, even most ants are basically omnivores. And, uh, don't forget to ring your socks, Anna. Yes. Thank you for that generous offer. Something tells me I'm gonna leave you behind. Oh, there's nothing here. I remember seeing one here once. Come on, baby. Okay, so we're down in a... Wait a second. If this is a build, then how come there isn't more sewage? This is a space station, after all. And there's xenomorphs literally everywhere, all over the place. Oh boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so Hear let's... That? Hear what? Oh no, we're not talking about another prowler, are we? Oh, there you are! There you are! I know I'm you're gonna regret this! Well, at least there's no face huggers. I could deal with less of those. Okay, so where are we in comparison of where we should be? to the door. Hit the backup generator. Far into the room. Got it? I don't get it. What makes these bullets that I have, like, flame bullets? I don't know. You think we might actually have something like that in the future? 
I mean, I can understand the flamethrower turret. You know, something tells me I'm actually quite glad that we don't have actual turrets in the military. You know, like automated turrets. Even though that would be awesome! These things would probably be pretty dangerous if pointed Mind at down. the wrong person. However, it's all a matter of how you build it. Something tells me these will be a thing. After all, it's sci-fi. Believe it or not, tons of things are made by sci-fi for sci-fi. Or from sci-fi. Well, what happened? All right, here we go. You hear that? They're coming. Well, yeah, we're the only meat here. That sounds wrong, but... Okay, here they come. Okay, come on. Dang it! Maybe just in case. They're coming. Up prowlers coming in. Movement signals clean. Range twenty meters. Wait a second. Did these actually cover twenty meters in range? I don't know, how many meters would you say my motion tracker is? Well, whatever it is, the signal's pretty damn clean and pretty damn close. Luckily, it's not a big signal. Jeez, I can't wait to see what happens when I actually hit Elite and I get better weapons. See more. Left side! Left? Um... Yeah, the turret probably got to take care of it. We can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, there they are. Four, on the right! On the right. They're coming up on the ceiling. Sorry, I was thinking of a scene from Alien 3. Of course, that doesn't exactly apply the same physics here, but you get the gist. <coughs> oh, I also heard that they are making an Alien vs. Predator 3. Now, I don't know if that's a good idea, but heck, I like both of them. And they're putting, um... Uh... Who was it? Saw a little bit of a picture on the show. Swords got power, but they're locked Will down. Smith? Mister. At least that's what I thought. A 16 million digit cipher. Perhaps check the logs of the maintenance synthetics? Oh no. You want me to pick the bones of the dead? Oh god, what happened to this poor bastard? Accessing. I have the code for you. You know, something tells me I'm actually glad we have maintenance synthetics. I'm sick and tired of cleaning up after people. Nope, this area is flooded too. Oh boy, they're still coming. Sure, let's see if this guy can hold the fort. So you guys can save your ammo. Running a bypass. <coughs> bypass engaging. Take this. Move out. <sighs> Nothing. Ambush. Ambush? Where? I don't see anything. Oh, jeez! God damn, I hate those things! It's oh, coming right for us! That's a drone. 
Again, what is it with the Xenomorph colony? I don't understand the ranks. I mean, obviously the runners are the weakest links, and the queen is the mask. Well, the queen is the queen. The highest. Period. <coughs> Get off my thing! How you doing, Honaker? Okay, moving out. Great. Well, of course you can't have an alien game without having... <coughs> because of course you can't have an alien game without bugs on the ceiling. Get it? Bugs on the... Never mind. Okay, anyway. I would do one of those classic type things like, They're coming out of the wall! They're coming up! Get out there! Fuck! That's just... Come on. We've all heard that before. Uh, I gotta find some new material. Either way... Another way! Right! Uh-oh. Here they come. What if I put this right here? There! Takes care of them both ways! Now all we have to do is worry about what's behind us! Speaking of... Hanukkah! Shoot something! Acid Sneezer on the right! Acid Sneezer! I love it! This has to be the best Left 4 Dead clone I've ever seen. Even if it is just alien based. Well, of course, maybe they could make some improvements. I don't know if they're thinking about making a sequel, editing a few things here and there. If it's a work in progress. But I still appreciate it. Oh, uh oh. I love how it's going so far. Shore party, this is your pickup. Beginning dropship approach to the refinery. Excellent! Oh! They just popped in out of nowhere! What, does Xenomorph know how to teleport now? No response from Hangar Delta's ALS. Diverting to Epsilon. Okay. Moving aft. Aft? Is that a word? Aft? Ooh. Another swarm rolling on your position. Yeah, um, I'm more concerned about the ingenuity of this place. Like, okay, say if we were to build an actual space station, what would we have like a huge main piping room like this? That'd get what do I know? I'm not an engineer. But still, oh, I'd love to be in space. I mean, on dead boards, not live boards. Keep moving, fire team. God, if we were the ones colonizing other planets with life on them, we'd be no better than the aliens that we perceive the movies to be. <coughs> like Pacific Rim, or um. Okay, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, war for Door Earth. Heads locked down. More working Joes, though. Yes. Um, Earth War? I, I forget what that movie was called. I would be pleased to assist. Okay, so we gotta find synths with the correct card key card? Or is it card key? Key card! And... Hmm. No. Is there another? Uh, yeah, there's three more. And I don't want to risk using my med kit just because. What if we run into one spot and there's so many? No of them? cipher present. Okay. I'm gonna guess this one. There we are. What Sending do you know? You the door code. All right, moving out. Oh, dang it, my baby! Anyways, hold the phone. Uh, maybe I should wait until my turn is on. Then again, that's Running a pretty good distraction. Back. Get out of there! I wonder, how much water would you have to put in a stasty 
I like a space station. Because I know humans need water to survive, and probably other organisms that we bring back with us. But still, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be enough to flood the entire station. Shore party, we are down in Hangar Epsilon. Standing by for pickup. What it? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a space engineer. Though I would love to be a space marine. They're actually offering positions. Home stretch, fire team. It's like my so side. We're safe. I really don't see that we're safe, Mr. Honecker. Let's ask these guys. Huh? Here we go. How about that? We're all still standing. What's the song go? I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah. Passage secured. Okay. Move out. Whoa. Is that a company ship? Huh. Oh, hello. Okay. All right. I accept your offer. What the? Woo. What the hell happened here? Synths and... What the fuck happened here? Wayland yutani synths brought local animals up to uh, replenish the hive. Is that... Then eggs back down for experiments. You wo They bred Xenos? Come mierdas. Sons of bitches! You do realize these are real biological monsters, correct? Can't believe. You know, I'm not surprised anymore. Whalen Yutani's done worse in the past. Hear that? I have no link to Pridefly. I can't run the launch sequence by remote. So you're gonna be piloting personally? Ooh. Nice try. I got ears like a bat! And my Can sniffer is the strongest sniffer ever to go! I can smell your stank from miles! Wait. Sure, party, you'll prep the hangar. Okay. Just give us some information. I'm not exactly the most um, tech savvy kind of guy. Okay. Start depressurization when you are ready. Let's rock. All right. Let's rock. When you hit that, every Xeno in the vents will pour out. Doc, uh, you boarding? No. No, I want to help. Out here. What? Well, don't fucking die on us now. Honecker, there's a chance Sentry you could deployed. die out here. No reason you don't want to chicken out. No reason, no risk worth killing yourself over. All right, your funeral. Nade kids here. But don't expect me to save your ass right, if they drag go. you off. It's a big room. This will take time. Let me just. Right on time. Here come the bots. Yep. We got ourselves some runners. Keep them off us, or fly yourself home. I don't know if we can. Plus, we're not even going home. We're going back to the ship. Military station? Ah! Right all over my tongue. Right flank, inbound! Well, luckily it's acid blood and nothing else. Like, I don't know what I'd do if I had to kill these things and only slime came out of them. I can imagine it now. Killing Xenomorph and Nickelodeon slime would just bleh, burst right out of them every time you shot at them. Oh man. Seems like we're holding up. Okay, 
So we got acid. Never mind. <coughs> Turrets do all the work. Uh oh. Apparently they still need help. This can't be all the Xenos left on the station. Chop party. Pressurize the hydraulics for the bay doors. Okay. Um, Controls are below the landing deck. Below? Um. Oh! Okay, the arrows point down. Oh, that's a warrior. Okay. Oh, you firing through the floor? Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Hey, put my scent down. Why are you going after him? You didn't go after Bishop. Uh, oh, Jesus. Controls are in the landing signal officer's station, left side. Okay, okay, I get you. We're moving straight to the left side. Done. Safety interlocks disengaged, resuming cycle. Uh, nothing left. Dr. Fire Honecker, get to inbound. the safe zone, now. Now the real fun starts. This Mirrors was supposed- coming in, watch oh. the deck. Call this fun? Warriors! Prepare yourself for battle! Are we done yet? a lot, but there certainly aren't enough. Sure, buddy. I need you up in prime flight. Oh, sure. You want us to walk... Get to the air boss's console and clear for final depressurization. Ah, oh, you want us to walk face first into death. Fine. I'll put this flamethrower unit here. Okay, okay, okay. Heading to depressurization, etc., etc. Nothing else in here worth. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Staff sergeant, we're good to go. Ooh, okay. Mount up, fire team, double time. Oh. Oh, what? Four warriors? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Take him! Oh, whoa, no! No! Get off me! There's too many! I'm sorry, everyone, but I have to leave that. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know. This sucks. I couldn't save them all, etc., etc., and bite me. After what he's been through, I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, Doctor. Let's get you home. Or at least to a safe location. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all the time I got left for this episode, so... I want to say thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, share, and or subscribe. And if you like what you just saw, check out the other list of videos that I've done in the past. And I will see you all in the stars. End transmission for now. Bye-bye! <laughs>
Synthetics from Weyland Yutani and Hyperdyne systems served the high end market. Siegs and company had neither the technical nor industrial expertise to compete. Working Joes were assembled from inexpensive commercial electronics. In a time when disguised synthetics were misused to monitor or discipline human employees, Siegsen marketed with the slogan, You always know a working Joe. Their crude appearance was a selling point among those fearful of synthetic infiltration.